Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Got another shave of the day for you. And today, it's going to be what you call first soap. Kind of hard for me to do my first soap because it's no longer production. It's been on a production since uh, about 1983 or 93, 93, about 93. And that would be Old Spice. And that was my very first shave soap I started using back in about 78. 1978 and it's no longer in production so here's my substitute yeah i'm going to go with a substitute uh old spice style dupe which is pretty darn close which is the uh, sterling spice so just think this is uh old spice shade soap it, it's a proxy all right and I'm also going to proc, well, it's not a proxy, it is the very first razor I ever used back in 1978. Still have my first razor. And these uh, perma sharps are going to stand in for the, the blades. Because I don't really know, does Schick even make DE blades? I don't know. Uh, I don't think, I don't have any. So, hey, Gillette, you're going to be used. All right. And. I do have my very first brush. This is my very first brush I ever had that came along with like my dad gave me. So there you go. I still have the same brush, still have the same razor, don't have the same soap, sorry. But we sort of have the same Old Spice. Well, it's changed. It, sometime, in, I think in the late 90s, early 2000s, it changed somewhere in there. But hey, Old Spice. Okay. Hope everybody's day is going good. Uh, mine's a... Well, it's going. It's a little sore. It's like I woke up this morning. It's like, ah, I can't move my arm. It's got a cramp right through my... It's like this whole knot right there. It's like, ah. Uh, it's like trying to lift this arm up. It's like pinch. It's like when you sleep wrong on something and you just like you mess it all up. All right. Got some moisture on, because I do have some Barbasol 1919 on the face. All right, let's bring out the old brush. It's amazing, it still works after all these years. It hasn't fallen apart, but you know, it's a synthetic. They last a long time. And like I said before, uh, when I first started shaving, I didn't shave every day. Heck, I was like maybe once a week. And then I would move on. It's like, it's got some body to it. A little bit in there, in the bowl. But I would like shave maybe once, uh, maybe once a week, every two weeks, just knock off the peach fuzz. And then as I got older, it started increasing. But yeah, you hear that blade. It's a pretty efficient razor. The only problem I have, one of the reasons I quit using it and got my Gillette, Black Beauties, 1983, right out of high school, is that this thing has a tendency to open up. It's like it doesn't lock in place. It, it will gradually uh, decide that it wants to open, and next thing you know, you're getting a lot of, and you're starting to feel a lot of blade feel, you're like, oh yeah, i got to tighten that thing. It doesn't take long for it to do it to you. Which kind of makes it really efficient, but more efficient than I like. Now, a lot of individuals have come along over the years. Like, a lot of you are, are new to this game. It definitely it opened up when it's caught I saw. And you're spoiled for choices, let's just put it that way. I I I said it many times is that like when I first started shaving, you had uh a handful. You had some blades some is typically you had some Schick blades and you had Gillette blades. That was it. Come in five packs. 
And they, uh, my wife's hair is on the, where that came from, I don't know. And you had, typically it was just Gillette. You did have some chicks that were Corona style hanging around. I can't remember exactly when I quit seeing those guys on the shelf. And those chicks kind of disappeared. Not that I was paying much attention. It's like, when you make your trips to occasionally in the sort. The store, I really didn't start going into the store by self until probably 83. That's when, you know, it's like out of high school, you had your own vehicle. You know, it's like, oh, I got to take care of stuff to go to work and buying your own goodies. You know, because you had your own job and then you actually start paying attention. Before that, it wasn't very often. Your typical A is like when... So when we go to the store, it's like, oh, you're in school. So, and 83 is when I started doing college, community college, that is. Back when I was, uh, first started school, I was a chemical engineer. Yeah. I guess I was good at chemistry. But... You know, but 85, I changed it to geology. So I like, hey, I like rocks more. <laughs> May seem strange, but a lot of what I did was in chemistry applied. Because I uh, enjoyed all the labs and Figuring out why things worked the way they did. Because as a kid, I'm one of those kids that would be walking along and see a cool rock. I'm like, hey, that looks cool. It's going into my collection. I had a very large collection. It just opened up. I got to watch that darn thing. It's wanting to eat my chin. Yeah, if you can see it, it's like, oh, yeah, did you catch it? It's like a little blood there. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, you can see it, it's like all bumpy. Right through there, it's like face plant into tree, bad. Now, if you're one of the handful of individuals that are new to the channel, I imagine almost everybody here has heard that story by now. That's opening up. Yeah, it was a day when I was like, when I'd use this razor, I wouldn't, it's like, I, I start getting back thinking about it and I start getting back into the autopilot again. Yeah. Good number on that spot right there. It's raised areas that are right through here. So you can see the, there's like a major gash that was right through here. So it's like crevasse and then it's like raised up right there. So not good. Makes it, it hurts. <laughs> it was not a fun day. I think I recently told that story where it's like smack into a tree and I come blood everywhere and come walking in the house and my mom's like, ah! and like and I looked into the mirror and like, ooh, that looks bad. And like she just like right here's the scars and like you can see my lower cheek, my uh um oh, what do you call it? Teeth through there. Yeah, it was it was not good. And I was like, well, it's like one of those deals where it's like, you know, it's what it is. Off to the doctor you go. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel it stinging right on the chin right there.
there we go. All right. Last but not least is the against grain, which is sort of with the grain against the grain. It's like through here, it's all a swirly thing, but. So you probably figured out why I use Old Spice all the time because it's like until probably the mid 80s I didn't use much I all I ever used was Old Spice it's like shave soap and aftershave other than my uh, handful of uh, Avon products that I had usually it was like toss up between sometimes I would just like rotate it's like one day this one or the next day that one you know type of deal when I was shaving more often it also depended on the girlfriend too like some girlfriends I had didn't like the Avon at all it's like Bleh. they didn't like the Old Spice it's like one liked the one or the other so Hair. It was like uh, what things you do to make the girlfriend happy. Obviously, all of them are long gone. Eventually, you get the. It's like my wife. You know, she was like, I don't care. Like you smell good one way or the other. Okay. No preference. It's like when I started using Brute though, she was like, hmm, I'm not sure. But by the end of the day, after it wore off some, she was alright with it. But I do like this classic scent that you get from Old Spice. One thing I miss about the uh, new aftershave is that uh, powdery aspect that you would get. I like that powdery aspect. That, uh, you, know, you get used to something and you like it. It's like when I first picked up this Sterling Spice, I was like, ah! It's back. Stay shut. I don't sound like the heat's coming on. It was like 26 degrees this morning. Don't think bad enough. I think I said in a lot of the last videos of it. The weather has finally changed on us. Ouch. You get that. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, I raked all the leaves out of the yard because it's like overnight. And I said, it's like it got really cold and all the leaves just went, and it fell. We had a really breezy day. And the uh, leaves all, well, about half my leaves ended up in the street, which that's okay. And the other half that didn't. Well, they got raked up, and I buried my, uh, my wife loves mums, so the only way to keep a mum alive around here in this environment is you got to bury him in the fall.
Because if you don't get into those 20 below days and hit, and if you don't have them very insulated, and I always used to do that. It's like when we had we planted new mums this year, and it's for the first time in a while, probably about three years since I had mums. And you bury the probably got a talk ladder over that super blower, so you got to bury them so the root ball doesn't uh, die. You get that cold temperature and freezes them out. Ah, that is nice. Nice, smooth. It's an efficient razor. I gotta give it that much. Alright. We are going to do the test and see how much stinging we get with the Old Spice Aftershave. Mm. Definitely the chin. A little bit of stinging right through here. Other than that, it feels good. Nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. This is my proxy first soap shave. And that was Sterling Spice. So it's standing in for the old spice shave soap that come in a puck or in the little little jar or mug during the holiday season typically. And that was my Schick uh, razor with some Gillette Permasharps. They work, or good for me. Hope you like it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.